What's going on, you guys? Lit Man Tuck is back at it with another book review, and I'm going to do more Pocket FM. Every time I get on here, I say this is my last time I'm talking about it because I do have a, a like a regular, well, fantastic book called Nexus Game in the queue that I need to read that I've been waiting to read for months, but I keep going back to the Pocket FM. I keep going back to it, but I am going to talk about a couple of books that I am listening to, some that, some that I love, and just a couple of updates on it. So the first one I want to talk about is Library of Flaws. Let me see what chapter I'm on. So it's about Teacher Xavier, and I am on episode 104. And this book is absolutely fantastic. The narration is great, and I'm having just a good time. And, and the thing, here's the thing. The main character, he really doesn't get, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> the main character, he really doesn't get into a lot of trouble because he's pretty overpowered with his power. So I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. He is doing his thing. He's overpowered. Uh, he has all the, he has the knowledge and he puts things together. He has the the library library of flaws in his brain, figuring stuff out for him, and he can find the most efficient way to do things. So I'm enjoying it, and it's releasing episodes. Sometimes I go ahead and, and you know offer a few coins. I don't mind at all with this book. So the next one I want to talk about is Rekindled uh, Fire, and this is a, the main character is transported. They love this transporting stuff, right? The main character is transported, and he basically has 200 years of training. I would say, I'm going to go ahead and say sorcerer training. And so 200 years of training, this fool is put into college in a weakling's body, and all of a sudden he's overpowered. And his name is the same as my government name. I ain't going to give him my government name on here, but if you just listen to the story, you would know uh, my actual first name. The next one I want to talk about, and I can't really say this, but I'm going to try my best, is Uncomfor Uncomfortably Numb. That's the best you're going to get from me. But it's about an internet content moderator. And his job is to find stuff on the internet that's inappropriate and shut it down. And so this is a spoiler alert. So the book got really excited because this dude is so numb. And like, he's just so like, he doesn't feel anything. That's why he's so good at the job. So other people, they need psychological help. Uh, who work there whenever they see something on the internet because it really bothers them. Nothing really bothers this guy until he gets to a part where he sees on the internet his ex-girlfriend, who he's still kind of in love with, is basically getting murdered right in front of him. And so he tries to do the regular protocol, but then he starts to overstep his bounds because he really wants to find the killer. He really wants to see if she's okay, but she has this number block, and the book started to get good. And then they ask me for some coins, and I'm already out of my budget for the month. I ain't getting no more coins this month, right? So the next book that I enjoy a lot is My Vampire System. Now, I think this book had a different name because I know a few of you asked me, like, hey, what's this, what, what about that one book? And I think they changed the name, but the book is called My Vampire System. Um, I enjoy it. The main character, Quinn, he finds out he is actually a vampire. And so and they, they live in a world where everybody has powers. Nobody is really interested in fantasy books anymore because life is a fantasy. And so he's navigating through that being a vampire and uh, getting stronger and stronger, doing his thing, leveling up. They have a uh, they have a statistic system and all that good stuff. Very fun book to follow. But it's a lot of episodes, a lot of coins, and they lock it. They don't they don't give you anything. And I bought a lot of coins for this one, but I was like, man, I can't do it anymore. So here's what I did. I started the book over and I'm starting from chapter one. I'm back on like chapter 20, something like that. And when I get to the end, I did find a YouTube channel. And so if you're interested in that YouTube channel, they have the entire novel on there and the narration. It's not the same narrator, but the narrators, the narration is pretty good. And so I do plan on going to YouTube, kind of like I'm doing Instant Millionaire, where I'm finding episodes on YouTube instead of spending all that coin. So that's all I got. I hope this is helpful for you. Hope you find something that you like. And if there's something that you like that I haven't talked about, make sure you uh, give me a recommendation.